Good morning. Hope everyone's doing good. I'm okay. A tiny headache. Got 275 days, no boost. Good on me. I'll show you why I got a little headache. I believe it's because of this guy. Every time I have Elijah and beer, I get a headache. I think it's the adjuncts. But I'm not like hungover though, just a little headache. So I'm one over. Hey, Ma. Like I said, I'm going to try not, not to act so weird and gross in my vlogs. Look, got really self conscious about it. Basically, um, <laughs> I don't want to show anybody my vlogs, like any, you know, anybody that, like a woman I might be wanting to interested in. I don't want her watching my old vlogs that where I'm being gross. So, just gonna try to maintain as hard as, hard as it might be for me. <laughs> What's up with that Secretary of Press? Um, Karen Jean Pierre not answering questions now. There's like won't answer anybody's questions. Isn't that like her job? To answer questions from you know journalists, reporters. She thought she just like won't answer questions. It's weird. She used to, but not anymore. Something's up. So, 275, one over, probably more like two over, because that one's a tall can, so I'll be, keep it real, two over. I don't feel too bad, though. It's my Friday. Yay! Yay, Skota! So, man, I dreamt, I was in my van. My whole, the whole night I was dreaming about my damn van. The thing, I couldn't get it to go uphill. So I took the carburetor, the, the thing off and the carburetor. There's all these leaves and shit in the carburetor. So I had to take the carburetor off, tip, tip it upside down and not try to knock all the crap out. Oops. Try to knock all the crap out of the carburetor. And I remember get, getting some carb cleaner and spraying it in there, trying to clean the carburetor out so it would run better, so I could make it up the hill. So I spent the whole, pretty much all the dream, trying to clean that damn, get that van running. So bizarre. It's like, my dream was a pain in the ass, man, trying to fix my van. much all I remember I well I was we were at some place yeah, it was my van and uh then we went to some apartment someone's apartment I don't know what to say but it was my brother's ex it was my brother's my brother was there and his his wife his wife that's passed recently was there and so it was some dude's house is an apartment and we went there instead because my van was broke down and then we needed somewhere to kick it. So we went over there and I don't know why, what happened after that, but went back to my van. And that's when we tried to drive it and we tried to go up the hill and it wasn't running. So, and it just kept going on and on the whole dream all night. And I was like, fuck, I want, I'm not going to stay asleep for this shit. <laughs> I want to wake up. This is a pain in the ass. So I did. I woke up hit the snooze once because I was tired still, but I still didn't make it to the snooze because I went right back to that dream. Went right back to the van working on the carburetor. So I got up. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, I saw um, Vivek <clears throat> endorse Trump, man. He totally like dropped out. Now he's endorsing Trump. And, man, there's a big chance that he might be the vice president, Vivek and Trump, together. That's just like my dream team right there, for real. I mean, wow. If that's the case, man, our country is going to be saved. 
man, Vivek blew me away with his speech last night. He did. When he endorsed Trump, he had such a great speech. I mean, it's one of the best speeches I ever heard, really. Trump even looked really impressed. Like, it was cool. It was really cool. Man, I was almost like, I was getting chills. I was, it was so cool, you know. Trump looked pretty proud of him. Man, I was proud of him, both of them. Shoot. That's the dream team right there, man. That is, that's amazing. All these people say, oh, oh, Vivek's a Trojan horse. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's bullshit. Not a damn Trojan. He would not come up with such amazing speeches if he was a damn Trojan horse. He's the real deal. Him and Trump are both the real deal. I know. I mean, like, Trump was probably tripping on him with that speech he put on, man. Vivek, that dude is, he is sharp as a razor, man. I'm telling you. If I was Trump, I would proudly have him as a vice president. No nope, big time, you know. <sighs> Nailed the coffee. Oh, thank God it's Friday, man. One more day. Well, got more other good news. The stress that was at work is no longer stressing me out. <clears throat> we we uh, we finally made up. We even joked around a little bit yesterday. So that really help, helps me a lot at work. Okay, let's see if he's going to be an a-hole today. It's 549. Oh, not too bad. Must have got some last night. Yeah, not too bad. He's going light this morning. So anyways, yeah, uh, we made up. Now we're talking again and everything's cool. You know, no more stress at work. That's good. I didn't, you know, I, I don't like not getting along with anybody. I like to get along with everybody. You know, that's just my nature. You know, if I'm not getting along with somebody, I always try to, I always want to fix it, you know. I'm really, I guess I'm really sensitive like that, you know. Pretty sensitive when it comes to that. I don't like people not liking me, you know. I mean, who really does? Some people don't care, you know, but I do. it. I, I could say I don't care, but I do. I do. <clears throat> So, 275. I won't ramble on too much, too much today. I might take an Alka-Seltzer hangover. And those sleeping pills, they knock me out, but I think they do make me a little groggy, a little bit. But, man, they work good. They knock me out. I got lots of sleep last night. So I really don't have much more to report at this time. Um, other than what I've reported already, that's pretty much all I got. I'm really happy I'm off the dope, though. It's still like, wow. It's like, I can't believe I got off it. I'm so happy. I was scared, man. I was hooked on that shit. Man, I really had to bite the bullet to get off it, though, man. I had to really buckle down. The alcohol is, it's up and down. So I'm having a hard time slowing down with that. I think that's, you know, that's a different, a whole different animal, getting off, trying to cut back on alcohol. I can do it. I just need to. Like, like I always say, and you know, I need to have the motivation. I need to motivate myself, you know. 
And that's just sheer wheel wheel sheer willpower. I, I can do it. I'm gonna do it. I've been saying that for how long now? But anywho, um, it's Friday. I'm gonna get some breakfast going here. And try to have a good good day. Great, good, great day. Alright, and you all have a great day also. So we'll catch you later. See ya.